Oh, hey, it's live. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Saturday night edition of, of uh, the Nocturnal Feeding Show. Tonight, uh, we got Ed, as always, and one of my co-hosts, TJ Autocross. He fills in once in a while. He's here tonight. Uh, Rico's not feeling well, and uh, Pauly is, is uh, out and about. I sent some links to a couple other people that would make it six. If they show up, they show up. If not, that's okay. Uh, so first we actually do have a guest tonight and y'all know him. If you don't, you should put that link in the chat, but this is how I'm going to introduce him. Oh man, I love that thing. <laughs> hey guys, if you haven't checked out Skip or Ed or Todd, go ahead, check them out, hit that like button, hit that share button, and turn on that notification bell because you never know when they're gonna go live and what they're gonna be doing or when they're gonna be dropping a video or a short because you got to watch it and don't worry about me. Garcia's always always late with other stuff, but I'm here now. So how's everybody doing? And welcome to the chat. <laughs> and welcome everybody to the platform. <laughs> oh, thank you, Garcia. Um, yeah, it's just pretty much just a hangout tonight. We don't really have nothing to talk about. I did get a new fish today. I brought it up. I think <laughs> it may have been Tuesday. I don't remember. Uh, I did a couple. Uh, I did an extra stream this week. Well, I'm going to go ahead and say a hellos real quick. Uh, let's see here. First in was Whip. I uh, sent him a link also. If he has time, he may come up. Nancy B in Tennessee. Scotty the Fish Freak. We got Kara C. We got Uncle... Sm I almost said Uncle Sam's Aquarium. Sorry. Uncle Smiley's Aquarium. <laughs> I do that, man. We got Linda Worth. Dennis Kirchison. Yes. I will see you at the NEC. I saw that comment on the video today. I thank you. I will be there. Cora works. Uh, I'm not sure. He may still be streaming at this time, but he's doing something pretty neat over there. We got Eddie. George, how you doing? Aqua Balls, nice to see you. Craig's Catfish Cave. Oh, thank you, Cora. We got Homer the Clown Trigger. We got Shady Grady. Shady Grady won something tonight. That's pretty neat. I hope that works. I hope you enjoy that. Mm. Fathom Aquatics, how are you? Uh, Freaky Fish Lady, hello. Jeff Kane. Geek Boy, how are you doing? <laughs> Robert Reed. Yeah, I never start on time. Uh, let's see. I know there was somebody else. I think I lost it. Oh, yeah, there you are. We got Go with the Flow Aquatics. If y'all don't know, that's Richard oh. Reynolds. L Fish. Oh. Tanks. He doesn't have Richard Reynolds on the end of it anymore. No, nope. changed it. Uh, so you should know by now. That's what he's telling you. I know. And I even said, hey, Go Flow, real quick when I was trying to find out if we were going to do our stream or not. In the peas earlier, mm. he said hi, Ed, and I said hi, Go Flow, because I it didn't register Richard. I wish I would have put the little lion there because I always think it's Richard's lion heart, and so I put a little lion at the end. The reason why I passed you over, I had to treat you like one. Hello, Eddie, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> he said, I saw that comment earlier. He was saying, so I figured I'd get him fired up. He's probably cussing me out right now. I love it. <laughs> Eduardo, Eduardo. I forgot to uh, bring a picture. I was going to bring a picture up of that that Tetra. Wait, what Tetra? I have it. Yeah, it was. It's a, a new Tetra that I just bought today. He, he oh, called them nice. white fin ornate Tetras, but that ain't right. White fin or hmm. Where'd you get them from, Skip? The LFS. Oh, nice. I saw them there before. And uh, 
See, I'm, I'm getting different stuff. Maybe they're young. Yeah, hold on a second here. I apologize. I'm never. I never have my stuff together. Hey, if you're like Garcia, okay. you're you being like Garcia, so don't worry about it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you got a huge mess Great. here from crafting. I need to clean this up. Oh, I got all that information for you. That I gotta. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send it to you in a uh, a message on your Facebook of everybody's stuff. Thank you, sir. I was thinking about that earlier today. That way, if you wanted to, you know, get it out. Yeah, my I've got them sitting on my mom's living room table, and she wanted me to get them out today. And I was like, well, I gotta wait till I get the addresses to put on them. Jenny Grady, welcome. You know, everybody said it. Bernaski, how you doing? Yes. Can you believe it? Girl, she here hanging out with Skipper and Ed and TJ. Yeah. Be happy. Uh, this is as, as close as I can get it. You know, I, I have a feeling that the name is wrong. For what? This oh, for the fish. fish. Oh, that looks like that. Was that the one you were thinking about last time we were talking? Yeah, but I actually finally got them. And they're not candy cane tetras because they don't have as much white and red on them. No, yeah, the only thing it has on them is is the white on this dorsal fin. Mm -hmm. uh, and then down here on the, those fins, my brain's fried. But that's that's where it's all white, and it's kind of like this picture right here is what they are. That's exactly what they look like. They're so it really looks nice. like this, but this is just more, you know. I'd like to get some of those better. Colombian uh, blue red tetras. Red blue. Oh tetras. yeah. Oh, yeah, they're nice, that huh? Yeah, they yeah, kind of look like they're... silver dollars, but prettier. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're a good size Tetra. Now you said Nathan Have came in. Vanoski, how you doing? Merrick came in too. Holy cow, they're just flowing in here. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Merit. Well, they all heard we had Garcia, so they're all coming to say hey. <laughs> oh yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna go for the full two hours tonight. I'm still a little exhausted from yesterday. I got a little busy. I would you had I did, a tough I, day today. Yeah. I did a, a bunch of water changes upstairs. Did a water a lot of water changes upstairs, and then I actually made a video. Yeah, I was getting there, buddy. That's pretty good, Berto. No. Oh yeah, we'll talk about that in a minute too. All right, all right so uh, he got you beat. <laughs> it's not oh, about yeah. a competition; it's about the respect of the boots, cats. Oh yeah, you gotta watch it. That boot may hit you, and then the cat mm. will attack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah big Steve up, came in. I ended up doing a bunch of. Uh, Water changes today, too. I had to catch up from being away for so long. I should have did water changes today, but instead I watched uh, Iowa play Colorado in girls basketball. Oh. Ah. Mainly because my mom's so excited about it. You know, normally my mom never wants to watch any sports, mm -hmm. but she uh, she's from Iowa, and so she's all excited about that one Iowa girl. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. George just said he he uh fell off his bicycle. Oh no. He's okay. He just a little bit hurting. Yeah. He okay. said he, he fell like a potato. Fell like a potato. <laughs> 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 fell like a sack of potatoes. Right, right. It hard. 
<laughs> oh no! But, well, at least he's not not too hurt then. That's good. I'm hurting. I uh, pulled a muscle in my stomach when I was at the uh, doctor's on Thursday. I was on the CAT scan thing. They were CAT scanning me, and mm -hmm. then I had to get up and off of it. And it's like a canoe. And when I got off of it, I felt something pop in my stomach, and it mm -hmm. wasn't as bad. It every day it gets more sore. Oh no! Like right there, and I haven't had that pain since. Like way back when I played football or something, you know, and they made us do those calisthenics. Oh, yeah. I don't do that stuff anymore. No. It's, I don't like it. it means you got to do work. Mm hmm. Well, Skip, you oh. called it. I came home from the trip. Both of my female parasipochromus are holding eggs right now. Told you. And you did. You told me I was going to have a whole bunch of those things. <laughs> it's like <laughs> a lot of people don't realize that Skipper knows things. Sometimes, uh, yeah, sometimes. What he said, I heard that. <laughs> oh, it's like a little, little Jiminy Cricket sitting on my shoulder saying it. <laughs> it's my, it's part of my soul. Well, I am a soulless ginger, and I've been known to to take souls. So, it took part of it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that because you're in the army? No. No. That's just an old saying that they used to say to me. Because of being a redhead and having freckles, each freckle is the soul that I've taken. You got to have the blue eyes out. Well, I'll feel better, first class fish. Thank you for popping in. Oh, we got Lady Diane also. And then Stephen P came Lady in. Lady Diane. Hiya, Stephen P. Lady Diane. Man, I was watching the Stephen P. show, and I was getting ready to try to win, and then Scotty, too hottie, asked me about what we're doing tonight, and I got all distracted, and I left, and I never came back. Did you forget to enter? Well, what? yeah, I didn't even enter. I just ah. thought mm -hmm. I would come back right away, and I didn't. Yes, that's why they did it on purpose. Yeah, it was Scotty's yeah. distraction technique. Next time I see Scotty, I'm not going to heal him. Yeah, you that <laughs> oh, wait a minute. That, I'm not a cleric. As soon as, soon, soon as you see, you say that now, but as soon as you see him next time, you say, oh, hi, Scotty. How you doing? Yeah. Oh, damn it. I, I did it again. <laughs> <laughs> Nancy no, said, him down. <laughs> Scotty's hotness distracted you. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, I'm a thief in his group. In his Dungeons and Gra Dragons group. So there's not much I can do to him. Maybe I could steal something from him. I'll there steal a go. sandwich. Mm. That's a uh, that's a pretty severe thing to lose. Yeah. Especially if it's a good sandwich. I'm so hungry right now. As soon as this is over, I'm going to drive over to Crystal's and get one of those... Uh, Shrimp poi poor boys. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That sounds good. Mm -hmm. You had one, Garcia? I had a good sandwich today. From Crystals? Oh, dude, no. I was at the movie theater and they made me a good sandwich. It was one of those luxury uh, movie theaters, and the recliner, everything. Yeah, yeah. And, and what I had was grilled cheese with lobster. Wow. Really? See, we had nice places in San Luis, but can I'm just, I'm like, I'm just munching it slowly. And Lady Shimmy Shimmy, she goes, why are you making love to that sandwich? I'm like, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to eat this sandwich real good. Well, what did you, you see? Lettuce and tomato. We went to go see Ghostbusters. Ah, was it good? Oh, I saw I saw that last week. It's amazing in between. Okay. Yeah. It, it's it's just a story. If you throw out the girl one, it's the worst. But it still it was fun to watch. Just seeing all the old guys coming back. Mm -hmm. I thought Dan Aykroyd wasn't very good. No. 
He wasn't very good in the original one, neither. He wrote it. Well, he was supposed well, to do it. He was supposed to, him and uh, John Belushi wrote it. And he was supposed to be the the funny character or the, the smooth guy that Bill Murray played. Because oh. uh, John Belushi was supposed to play the smart stiff that he played. But uh, since he cast, everybody wants to be the cool guy. So Bill Murray took the cool guy job. And it suits him. Lumpy? It suits him. Ed, did you really see uh, like... Lady Di's comment that uh, the basketball oh. star that your mom likes, she goes into the restaurant where her daughter works, and the, there's uh, the news team that goes there and films her. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's wow. awesome. Well, I'm sure my mom would think that Lady Diane's really cool. She's such a classy lumpy, woman. Lumpy. She's too classy for Missouri. I'm sorry. What are those? Blue Acaras. I believe it's the Blue Acaras. That's what Ed was. Uh, oh, oh, Eddie? Carter was saying, yeah. That is not a Blue car. <laughs> Uh-oh. Or oh, not unless that's a natural Blue Acara. Oh, not well, an electric. Is it a Blue yeah. Acara or an electric? Yeah. They're different. Yeah. We're so used to seeing the electric. Oh. The, nobody sees the blues anymore. Electric blue ram. Oh. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Nice. I ain't going to focus. Should have sent it. A oh, balloon? That's why I thought. I knew there was something wrong with them. I hate when, when I see fruits like that with the balloon. Balloon sky. I don't like it. Yeah, I'm not. I out. like those electric blue convict. The, uh, blue convicts, yeah, they call them what, polar little, blues or whatever. Yeah, yeah polar, polar, yeah, blues. but yeah, they're pretty. Yeah, they're, they're any convicts, fish that is, it might be scary. Any fish that I see that is a short body or balloon, mm -hmm. it looks to me is disgusting, but to some people, oh, that's rare. This and that, yeah, but they won't last too long. Well, it depends. It, so it's it's all on what your taste is. Opinion. So if you like them, then that's that's you. It's not yeah. it's not for everybody. Not every fish is for everybody. You know, we all have our favorites. Yep. But I heard yeah, you know, I'm sorry. For me, I'm I not into you, them either. I heard you want Skipper. I heard Skipper was going to set up a a, a glow tank. Yeah, low well, fish tank. Did you did you see what they came out with now? Mm -mm. Yeah, the Glow Angels. Really? Are they any good? I don't know. I didn't see them in person. It looks, this is crazy. It looks disgusting. It is crazy. Oh, he said them ones are born that way. Oh wow. I didn't know that. Mm -mm. That's pretty cool though. Something different. I mean, he gets them to breed. He'd probably be pretty neat. Mm -hmm. I love German blue rams in general. I think they're really, uh, really a pretty cichlid. Yeah. There, there they go. Look at those angels. That's a pink one. Angel. Yeah. That's a pink. I'll see if there's any other colors. They have right now. Green. It looks like everything's pink. What, what is it? Green? What do they call? I don't yeah. know. But they but did not, that. Uh, they did that they with got the, the bigger ones. They got the bigger angel. Yeah. Well, that's probably they're probably just young right there. But yeah, the yeah. Uh, hello, Sunny G. But Sunny G. That's kind of neat looking. Oh, it's different. It just it's got just pastel tints of pastel on it. Yeah, I took him on a little tour of the upstairs fish tanks. Yeah, yeah, I watched that. We got fish tanks on each floor. <laughs> That's uh, like, like my house. Mm -hmm. Only pink glow fish. I seen that. I seen the green one. We're heading to the third just, floor. I'll type in green. We got to the second floor. We got another guest. Oh boy. 
What's up, Doctor Austin? It's oh, Doc. Hey, Doctor. Hello. I was just power washing our back cement. Huh? So, boy, if I did that, that'd be cold right now. Well, we uh, got a lull in the rain, so I thought I'd get it done. We had a thunderstorm. You guys remember it was backstage with us before we started. I left real quick. Yeah. I ain't heard thunder like that in a long time. Did it scare I, you? Well, I didn't, wasn't sure if it was that or a car accident that happened right, in, right by the house. <laughs> Thundercats. Yeah, Thundercats. Yes. <laughs> thunder, Thundercats. Oh. Never saw the Thundercat, so. Hey, I want that. That's that, the only green I can really find. A gl how about a glow discus? I'm sure that's coming. Yep, no doubt. How about a glow Oscar? Uh, oh, how, about, how about no glow? Just glow sticks. <laughs> <laughs> how about how about how about a uh, a glow arrow climber? Oh yeah, yeah, that was that would go over really Here's well. Here's a glow cat. <laughs> the Japanese have made glow cats. They right. did that about a decade ago. Don't you yeah. want me to be glow in the dark so you don't trip over him? You know, I I step on baby cats so many times at night; it's unbelievable. But I don't know. I don't really want my animals glowing. Well, the the natural glow, like Nancy B saying, like the rainbow shiners, that's just pretty. Like my natural glow. I think it would be neat if you could make yourself. My head. I'd like to glow in the dark eyes. Wouldn't that be neat if my eyes glowed in the dark? No, that'd be creepy. I'll, yeah, that'd be kind of weird. I'll be gone. I'll be gone. As soon as I see you, I'm gone. Well, did you see some of them TikTok videos where they're like doing all that face paint stuff? And then it's the the where it's the evil clown ones. And uh uh, anyways, they would close their eyes and they'd open up and they have them contacts that are glowing. I'm like, no, nah, mm -mm. you're getting punchy blocking my door like that. looking like that, right? <laughs> you laid out. That's all there is to it. You need all right. If you want me to show them, Edward, you got to send it on Facebook or an email because. That's I don't like using the phone. You get a glare. Yeah. Big cat. If you send it to my face, if you send it to my Facebook, I can uh share it on the screen too. Mm -hmm. Don't send it to it, my Facebook I, so hardly you see I hardly look at it. Pfft. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Doc, <laughs> Doc, where are you? today i'm in uh california it's still in the in the yeah, house there yeah, okay yeah. my wife yeah, it's just my wife's different. in peru and i'm in california so okay it just looks different because he smashed something that used to be behind yeah, that, every that time be... i see it it looks different well we have boxes piling yep. up there so <laughs> yep do you have a cat uh no no cats we don't have any pets except fish you might want to consider getting a cat while you have all those boxes because cats enjoy jumping on boxes. Oh, okay. Hmm. No. No, that's okay. Sorry. Oh, my gosh. My cats loved having all those boxes to jump on. Yeah. They were like mountain climbing. I got my dog. My dog will take care of everything. Yeah, my, my, wife, won't, my wife won't let me have a dog or cat. Oh my gosh, that woman. She seems so cool in real life, but then she's not. <laughs> we travel too much. I mean, who's going to take care of it? Yeah. yeah you know, it's not fair to the animal. You can have your butler take care of it. Oh, my butler. Okay. <laughs> my butler. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, uh, Skipper saw the, our butler when he was here. It's called me. <laughs> Honey, do this. Honey, do that. It's true. I offered to help, and I was told to sit down. <laughs> sit down. Anthony will do it. 
You're like, man, no, I, I can't. This is driving me crazy, Dan. Dang, yeah, man. Skipper likes to always be doing things. You could have probably had him, like, grout your sink for you or something. I don't know <laughs> if I like coral anymore. Oh, no. Dr. Why? Addison is more <laughs> butt than butler. <laughs> he thanks a wow. lot. Wow. That's, that's, that's Listen, you, you got, he's uh, putting together something today. He may have had too many fumes went to his head. Yeah, you know, I'm not sure. Maybe we won't be moving to Portland anymore with people like that. <laughs> right. <laughs> you're going to need him to watch your house so you don't have a – when you're down south, you've got to uh -huh. have a house sitter so somebody doesn't uh, – what's it called? It's when they funny. come into your house and start living there? Yeah, we we, we have we – have, I have sister-in-laws there. Sister-in-laws and brother-in-laws. So – Renee has her family there, so we won't have to worry. Well, about it. you could still introduce them to Coral. Okay. Uh, Lumpy Dog says that his wife is a cat person, and he was a dog person. So when he got married, we compromised and got three cats. That's that's exactly right. <laughs> that's what you know. People don't realize what compromise is in a marriage. It's not you meet halfway because then no one's happy. You, you know, give in one time, next time they give in. That's compromise. But now Lumpy Dog is the coolest guy in the world, and he's super happy because he has cats. Well, I I got three dogs now. I should have listened to her. We'd have one French bulldog. Now, well, let's yeah, get... Why? Those things well, are... That's so what... I know. You saw, you saw the French bulldogs here. Oh, yeah. Stephanie's are like, they can't breathe. Oh, they're funny. Yeah, hum humans are naturally attracted to ugly things. That's why they like babies. <laughs> That's why you you have to, you know, swipe the women away from you, huh, Ed? They're, they're, they're all after you. <laughs> he well, said because of babies. Yeah. <laughs> babies are ugly, huh? <laughs> oh, my gosh. They're maggot humans. They're maggot humans? maggot humans. Maggot? Yeah. I mean, look. I mean, they're like, and they poop and eat. Okay, listen. I, what is funny though, if you think about it, is everybody Thank says, you, "Gordon, that, thank you for coming, Gordon." Ah, hello, aquarium talk. Thank you. So, if if you, <laughs> all right. You think about they always say that babies are cute, but when they first come out, they got a cone head and they're all wrinkly. Yep. So how's that cute? And some of us and some of us never get away from that. No. Yeah. No. We keep our cone heads and uh we're always ugly, wrinkly. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> and that some of us never stop pooping our pants. That's true. It's like, That's true. <laughs> you ain't lying there. And John says it's like red prunes. <laughs> oh, my God. There's some wrong with you people today. Oh. My hip is okay. My hip is okay. I know I did a lot of walking today, Gordy. I did a lot of walking today. Daddy Shimmy Shimmy had me walking, going here, going there, going here, going there. Then going to the movies, then a lot of walking, then back home. Mm. I did have a question, and I forgot what it was. No, you should not mix discus with other fish. That's that's the question. Well, sorry, there's some plecos in there with them. Well, plecos okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the Corydoras. Yeah, that's that's fine, but no uh, rose line barbs or whatever. <laughs> yeah, right. Why so, are they Raphael? Well, they're spotted. They're Raphael's in the Amazon. That's why so, I had them with mine. All right. So, with that being said, what fish are native to the wild caught? Uh, discus 
that are in the same waters as them that's not a bottom dweller? Um, how about Tetris? Yeah, can you see them together? Yeah, Rummy Nose Tetris. Okay. Um, Mm, lemon Arnold. tetras, lots of tetras, um, some small severums, angels. But, you know, one thing about angels is angels are more aggressive feeders. Um, mm -hmm. You know, in... in a piranha? Well, there, yeah, there's piranhas in, in with discus all the time. See? Uh, you see that that comment from uh, from the Queen of Talk TV, Skip? And I disagree on that. Oh yeah, I mean you can add other fish with them, but I think it should be like what they're used to make. So so I there was one thing I wanted to start doing is I wanted to make tanks that uh, that the fish come from like the same area. A biotope type tank. Yeah, but without all that other stuff that I can't do. <laughs> yeah. We know. Yeah. I haven't learned it yet. And you never will. Yeah, I will. I will learn. No, you won't. I probably won't. You're right. <laughs> no, I'll do it. It's called yeah, time. We'll see. We'll see. I'll pay to see that. Oh, you better get your money ready because now the challenge is accepted. Uh oh. And I will be out. Listen, don't make me come to Florida and collect. They don't call me the hitman for nothing on the Tennessee Fish Mafia. Don't worry. I'll get you some kegs and you'll be all right. Oh, no, that's too much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, that's too much. That was my younger days. Okay. <laughs> okay, old man. I mean, young man. <laughs> Lumpy said, glow bettas, aranda goldfish, and discus in a cool water tank. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would be crazy. You know, Could you even are imagine? People, are people still doing glow bettas? Have they phased those out? They just never look healthy at all. I, you know, I have never seen any other glow fish besides the normal barbs. You know, in the 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 big tetras, that that's it. They have a they real. Have, they have Priscilla, uh, tetras. Yeah. That are uh, glowfish that are actually pretty healthy looking. All right, but, give me. Well, you're saying you're saying that that's all you seen. We have here, up out this way, we have the beta. Mm -hmm. I've seen it. I'm like, what are you? that's just wrong. Uh, the Danio, the, the Tetras, the Danio. Yep. Uh, the, the sharks. The they sharks don't, don't look healthy. No, they don't. They don't look right at all. Tiger barbs, they've done them too. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think the, they look very healthy either. No. The Aeneas Corridoris, they've done it too. The Albino. Mm -hmm. yeah, I haven't seen those yet. And they don't look healthy either. Uh, what was the other thing that I? Hey, look at Garcia. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there, there was something else. I can't. The white because shirts I... and the Priscillas. What other tetras? Uh, there a tetra? I've seen yeah. black skirts. Yeah, skirt tetras. Yeah, we have those here. Hello, Kenny. Uh, I'm trying, hey. There was something else that I seen that it just ain't right. I don't know. But if it gets the kids' attention, yeah, you know, it, and fish, yeah, yeah that's it gets just my mom's attention. Yeah, it's it's if it's you know if it gets the kids into an aquarium, I I'm all for it. I'm not for having those type of fish. It's not that those and um, the balloon type fish. Uh, you know, I just, balloons don't, they, they look grotesque. I remember when I was a kid, the painted glass fish that oh, were yeah. injected with yeah. paint. 
Yep. We had those in a community aquarium for a little while. They, they still were... have those. Do they still? Yes. I just seen them at the LFS. I got them Tetris from. Yeah. He had some brought in. They're still doing this. Yeah. Oh. The, we get a lot here, here in Southern yeah. California at certain types of the year. Lots of, uh, you know, injected fish. And yeah. But I think that the, the glass were actually painted on, weren't they? No, they inject an acrylic in, uh, underneath their skin. Yeah, they had like a stripe, I, that, I remember, in them that was like pink or green. Yep. And yep. as a kid, I thought it was cool. But now I'm going, oh. But they, you know, the thing is, they'll lose that over yep. over time. You know, we that when we mark fish, that's one of the way we mark fish to do studies is actually put acrylic injections underneath their, their scales so you can identify them. Hmm. Mm. Hmm. That's interesting. I yeah, I, I, I remember yeah, that was probably what hello brother Dan. Uh Daniel Velez. Uh they came out in what the nineties? The glows or the injections? The injection ones. Well, I've seen them since I was yeah, well oh. no. 70s, 80s. Oh, yeah. yeah. They used to tattoo uh, platies and mollies so they'd have like hearts on them. And yeah, stuff. hearts. We used to get hearts at Valentine's Day, a lot of hearts. Mm -hmm. Yep. Wow. Really? Yep. That I've never seen. Yep. Wow, that's crazy. Well, we're showing our age. <laughs> yeah. What? Just happened here. Why did it do that? I'll be right back. Okay. I'm trying to. I'm with uh, Eduardo sent some pictures. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show them of uh, uh, the fish that he got. He gonna mm. have to say what they are because there's some that has quite a few of them in there. Let's see here. I saw that Lumpy Dog was asking him about the fish he sent him. I wonder if he sent him the same rainbows that I have. Because uh, then believe, Eduardo and I are like Eskimo cousins. Uh, it's going to be in this, I believe, in these group of pictures. Uh, so that's um, uh, these rams. I hear a phone dialing. Mm -hmm. Roseline barbs. Uh, here's these. I love those penguin. What are they called? Penguin tetras? Yeah, yeah. They're kind of neat, huh? Uh, angel fish. The, I don't see the peg. Let me uh, blow this up. I don't see the penguins. Penguins look like they have a hockey stick. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're see all there. the ones up in the top right. I'm not going to make this bigger. My eyes just aren't very good. Sorry, yeah, I got muted. Oh, I forgot to call Renee today. Oh, yeah, you better. You don't want to be in a dog house. Well, you know, especially after I saw that balloon um, <laughs> ram, I said, I, I don't need to see this. I don't know what angel fish these are. Is these Pinoy's? Uh, they look like silvers, but I, I don't see very well in my old age. Oh, I like the tank, looks... though. Yeah, it is nice. Alishon said there's a new red tailed penguin tetras. Huh. That's interesting. That's the tank. Oh, nice. Is it them rainbows? Oh, oh the most dreaded oh, yeah. fish in the world. What, the grind? Yeah. Well, the second most dreaded fish. Is What's that... the most? The, um, the loach at the bottom? No, tilapia. Oh yeah, they're they're bad. Yeah, aqu aquaculture tilapia. They they oh man, they destroy stuff. Yep. Yes, these are the dog. No, he was just saying this no, is the uh, rainbows. They are beautiful. Yeah. Cool. So we're Eskimo cousins. They are yeah. pretty. Wait, what's an Eskimo cousin? I, I have to ask. <laughs> it's when somebody has fish from the same fish that you got. Oh, okay. Mm. 
because uh, we got our rainbows, our family. What so rainbows were they again? Lumpy dogs. He sent me them, um, and they are just so fun to watch. They're amazing. Okay, so I just got confirmation on that angel fish. They are green veils. They're mm -hmm. from Richard Reynolds. He bred them. Yeah, they're nice. Hmm. Is that 40 breeder? Yeah, it is. It's got two tops, though. Uh... Yeah, my 40 breeder has two tops, too. Oh, does it really? Mm -hmm. Mine only have one. Okay. Wait, no, that's a, seven, that's a 75. It looks like a 75. Yeah, my uh, fun, yeah, forty's only one. You're right. Fun fact about Lumpy Dog is he only sends fish to people named Ed. Mm. Well, nice try because if anyone's still interested, he has some turquoise rainbows. <laughs> Next message will be so your name, your name has to be Ed. <laughs> right. Or Edwin or Eduardo or Edward or if you have Edina. an e, if you have an E D in your name, you will get them. I just have yeah. an E. Yeah, but you're skippered. <laughs> you're skippered. Well, I am the third, so there's a D in there too. So mm -hmm. we're good. So I guess I'm never getting it. Uh let's see. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Maybe he only one. sends to people south of him. Maybe he just likes his fish going downhill when he ships them. Well, there you go. It gets there quicker. Get quick to Florida, too, Ed. Yep. Down there in the Florida. Did you get any new fish lately, Garcia? Excuse me? Did you get any new fish lately? Not at the moment. That was one of the fish that I'm going to get. Uh, that's one of the fish I put in, as in, in, in my shorts. Yeah, I'm going to get that one soon. Yeah, Edward Holy counts. They got the small ones for 15 but the bigger ones are about that big, $120. Hmm. Well, what kind of fish was it again? It's... Uh, let me see if I can get the baby. That's it, that, what does it take? Wonder if it takes long to grow. That's why they say it goes from fifteen to a hundred and some dollars. Whoa! Yeah, that's Ed, look at, Ed, look at the screen. I just see me. Haven't seen that name in a while. Oh, What's Chappie. The, What's up, Chappie? How you doing, brother? Hope everything's doing good. Wow, it's nice to see that name pop up. I'm doing pretty well. Busy, busy. Now, is he considered a roughneck or a leatherneck? He's an oil guy. Oh, oil guys. I don't know. A sweaty neck? Uh, it's chameleon lower carrot. Yes, I know chameleons. Whiptail? Yeah, or working men. It's oh. a, but it's not a, it, yeah, it's a, they're kind of black and white. Yeah. They can change colors. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're, they're pretty expensive. Um, so and you, they're getting, the, the Peruvian ones are becoming more and more rare because they've outfished them. Oh. Uh, so, yeah. For the hobby doc or? Yeah, for the hobby. Yeah. 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 They're, they're, it's harder. They're going out for, before they'd go out for, you know, half a day and catch 100. Now they go out for a week and maybe catch 20. Wow. Yeah. But oh, they're still Is available in, from Colombia mm -hmm. and they're considered the same species, but I, I really think they're two different species. Yeah, so that that uh, local fish store that I went to, they had it. And he said 15 for this one. It's a little smaller. The other one's 120. I'm like, uh, you got how many you got the small ones? He goes, Oh, we got three of those. I goes, okay, save me those two right there. I'm gonna take those small ones. Yeah. 
But you know what? The, the 120 guys, I don't make that kind of money like you do. That's crazy. But yeah, I mean, they are expensive. Uh, the, you know, the fishermen sell the, the big ones and they want the big ones for about $30 each to the exporters. So, you know, you can see that the exporter is going to sell it to the wholesaler for, you know, 60 bucks. And so from there, it just goes up and up and up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It'd be nice to get them and you get them to breed. Yeah, there are a few people who are breeding them in the U.S. And I know in Europe, they're breeding them. I'm just waiting for the right time to go get it, but I'm going to go get it. And also, they also have freshwater flounder. Yeah. Yes, those are pretty neat. Uh, Depths Unknown has them. Yeah, you can get them. They're, they're in the Amazon, and then they're in the Mekong. There's some Southeast Asian uh, freshwater flounder. Well, they, are they expensive? Uh, no, not really. Just they just you know not not many people want them so they they're not imported very often. Oh my gosh, you're so much fun. The LFS I was at had them, but I don't really have a tank to put them in right now for because uh, they they like to bury themselves in the sand. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. But they keep their eyes out, so I think that's pretty neat. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it'd be a great if you had a classroom. That'd be a super cool tank to have for kids. Yeah. yeah, you know, to look around for their eyeballs. Jason keeps his in brackish, I think. Right, Skip? Yeah, he has a different one. Yeah. There's a there's a couple of them, I believe. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the one in the U.S., the hog chokers, they, they like um, uh, more brackish water. Yeah, and I think that's what he has is the mm -hmm. hog chokers. Yeah. The flounders I've seen today, I'm not sure which ones they are. Uh, so yeah, I'm not, I'm just not sure which that he didn't have a scientific name up on him, but he had, he had him in a, a regular, you know, you know, I mean, I guess you could, the, the, the ones that he was mentioned, Doc said they could be in fresh water, but if you want them to thrive, you're going to want to put them in bracky. So it could be the same ones. I didn't ask. Mm, yeah. I don't know. They are uh, neat though. There's a, Silver Creek Aquatics is here, and uh, he's also a veteran man. from Texas, just like Chappy. They're like and, neighbors. And look at Fishy Buns here, Nick hey, Kirk. Oh my gosh! I don't know anybody else from Trinidad? Any news for the auction? Yeah, I wanted to start it in April. Uh. I'm hoping to have one in April. Uh, I got to get emails out to let people know that that we're starting. But if any any of you guys that are here are fish breeders, know how to ship fish. Uh, I got to remember what the email is. Holy cow! Is Did it fish plan auctions at gmail .com? No, no, I changed it. It's the uh, the aquarium the the Aquarist Auction at gmail.com. Hmm. Uh, send, send, send an email to, to, to there about wanting to uh, fish that you have bred or that you had for a while that you need to get rid of because you want to set something else up different. That's fine also. Uh, plants. Uh, I've done. That's pretty much all we do. Shrimp. Mm -hmm. We do shrimp, snails, snails. also uh, invertebrates. Will not be doing used stuff like equipment. Will not do equipment. That's just too much. Uh, it's pretty much what it what it's going to be is just fish invertebrates. Uh, I mean, I think we did do a saltwater fish once, didn't we? Why do I feel like we did one? Hmm. Is it harder to ship saltwater fish? No, I ship it the same no. way. Salt probably just keeps getting juggled around, I guess, in the bag. I just, I just can't remember if we, if we've had. I'll have to go back and look. Yeah, I don't remember. 
Lots of stuff has been. That's going to bug me. Now. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It was the boss. It's all right. You're fine. Big Steve said he's going to put uh, trout goodies, caught up punctatus, and a piss sticker on my cockatoides in the auction. Oh my nice. gosh, that's awesome. That's a super cool mix. <laughs> Freaking Skipper. <awesome. laughs> Ungrateful kids in next watch. <laughs> no dog for cats? <laughs> cats are rocking. Hey, Skipper, yeah. can I have April 27th? That Saturday, no. Yeah. So when you schedule your uh, auction, will you not do it on that day? Because I wasn't going to do my Thursday night show that week, so I was going to make my makeup on that night. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Double awesome. H G, how you doing, Jake and Katie? How you doing? Yeah, hello. I gotta ask Rico to make sure it's cool with him. Holy cow! Whoa. Thank oh, you, Snappy, for the 1999 Super Chat. Love you guys. Enjoy the evening. Found my keys. <laughs> so now he's going to do some running. <laughs> and he said he's a human now. Yeah, I saw it. Weren't, weren't he still has, didn't he have like a Trans Am as his car? Remember that? Mustang. Oh, it was a Mustang? Yeah. I thought for some reason it was uh, Trans Am. I think it was a real fancy pants Mustang. See, there he right. says it, it makes Mustang GT. See, I remember things. And Jen, you joined us? Jen, how are you? What is going on here? I can't remember. My brain is fried right now. Yes, it's Aquarist Auction. Okay. I've actually got three emails right now in there. Whoops. Ooh. Yeah, so it's about, a, I'll put it, I'll type it in there. Good. What about artwork in your auction? Yes, we have done that. Fish, fish related art. We have done that a couple times, actually. Mm -hmm. But um, one thing Ed is not allowed to sell are my guppies. Mm. Uh, yeah, that's already they're already sold. You're you're done. Oh, okay. Uh, hey Doc, I'm paranoid I'm to sell them. I'm so I'm sorry, Doc. He already shipped them to me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he shipped them to California oh, as a trial. Oh, Why did he ship them to me sorry. as a trial? I mean, right, here we go. That was two two oh. years ago. I'm sorry about that. They survived. I'm sorry, Ed, for saying for saying. It's can, all right. Can we sell fangers? Oh, yeah. I mean, as long as it's artwork with a shell or a fish on it. <laughs> I'm gonna check my baseball team real quick. Hello, Melvin. Melvin. Melvin P. Wiener Schnitzel. Melvin. Are, guys, oh, I'm beating guys, whip guys. 10 to 8 right now. Guys, guys, if you haven't checked their website, I mean their their channel, go ahead and do so and make sure you hit that like button, that share button, that notification bell to be notified when they drop in a short or a video or when they're gonna go live. Come on, guys. Don't forget to turn on that notification bell. Let's do this. Come on, we can do this. Sorry. Skipper pay me. Yeah, I did. Uh, there's the there's the email address of like uh, Big Steve was saying about doing something. So <laughs> John wants you to sell your stalagmites. <laughs> That's funny. But uh, uh, platinum, <laughs> uh, Pat, platinum Creeks, how you doing? No, oh, he's platinum this week. Yeah, he's not silver no more. Now he's platinum. Platinum. M and C just joined us. Oh, I missed that when I was trying to figure out this email. Now I gotta remember the password. Uh oh. Get your sticky notes. I'm gonna oh, start doing that for real. Doesn't your computer save your passwords? This was a new 
I never I had it up on this new computer. I don't remember any of my passwords because it, I have an autosave, so I'm screwed when it asks me to put in a password. And if so you put my. the wrong one, and if you put the wrong one, and right away, what's the secret pass? What's the secret? <laughs> secret pack. Secret. I'm, I'm too old to have different passwords. Oh, I can't even. Well, I want to use the same password, so that way, if somebody forgets, we could just remind each other. It should be finger Ewan's fingers for Skip's password. <laughs> <laughs> or I love Coors Light. <laughs> Get her done. <laughs> And uh, Ed Oinky just joined us. Hello, oh, Oinky. Awesome. Hey, Oinky, oh, how you doing? I got to get my chat back up here. I went to baseball. And you I'm missed losing the to Jimmy chat. P, 1 to 15. You missed the chat from Oinky to you, so she's going to be really angry oh. at you. What? I'm sorry, dear. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the best he, response. He, that's that's he, a good he, response. He, he's not sorry. Mm. He'll do it again. Roll. I got distracted. Who still uses a Rolodex? I do. Who has a telephone in their house? <laughs> <laughs> I got the rotary still. You got the rotary with like a seven foot cord on it, yeah. <laughs> so you can walk across the kitchen. <laughs> Can I use your phone? Sure. Oh, yeah. no, no, no. no you're, you're making a cell phone. It's not use the, use the landline. It's better. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. I figured oh, it out. Oh, Mr. Kelly. How you doing, Mr. Kelly? Hey, Jorge. Orquito. Hola. Hola. Is that your extent of your your uh, Spanish there, Ed? See? Okay. <laughs> you know, I know a few things. I used to have a friend. Her name was Hilda Margarita. She was from TJ, Mexico. And she was like, she would teach me one word every day at work. I, uh, at one time, I knew how to say, can I have extra sour cream, please? But <laughs> I've forgotten. That's funny. I <laughs> could have extra sour <laughs> That's I, the important thing for food. I just, I, I thought that uh, it was bizarre that Hilda would be a Mexican name. Because I just always think of like. Hungarian people named Hilda. Well, my, but my one, no, she'd have been my great aunt. She was German and had that name. It just it's doesn't new. sound uh, Latin or something. I don't know. No, I get it. We had a gal at my work, and we called her Maria for like four years before she told us that her name's actually Marie. But the boss, when he introduced her to everybody, he said her name was Maria. So we all called her Maria forever, and it, the whole time it was Marie. Isn't that terrible? That oh, and Eduardo that. just gifted 20. He gifted oh, I can't 20. hear you, Garcia. Why can't you hear him? I don't know. You can you hear him? No. Yeah. You're deep. It was a little low. But he was saying that Master Eddie gifted me, gifted out 20 of my memberships to uh, 20 people. Now I got to say all their names. Thank you, Eddie. Appreciate it. No, nah, truly, so, I do. You got can, you hear, can you still hear me? Yeah, yeah I hear you. Can we hear you. You got Nancy B, Dennis Christian, Boots Cats, Benjamin Peters, Big Steve, Cora Works, Mexicali, Fathom Aquatics, 
Uh, L. Fish, Ross Baltimore. I need to send him an email. Nathan Have, Bluefish. Uh, there's an echo. Darlene's Tanks, Mountain Greenery, SC Cat House, John McKenzie. And Renee House and Window Liquor number five. Yeah. Well, every time I read his name, Window Liquor, I think of that uh, one song. What song? I can't remember what that song. I'm a window uh, liquor. <laughs> oh, Mambo <laughs> number five. That was a song. That was a song I said uh, about. Mambo number five. <laughs> <laughs> then you get that beat in your head. Kind of starts driving mm -hmm. you crazy. Thanks, Eduardo. Hopefully soon I'll be able to get some uh, monies together from the tube, and then we'll do a giveaway because that's what I have to offer for that. Is for for all for all the people that are being members. I appreciate it. That's one of the ways of giving back to put the money toward the channel and to give back. Very nice. He's so kind and generous. You so He's a trialist. You so. You know. <laughs> you know, I realized my signal was only at two bars, so I switched to a different thing, and now I've got four bars. So hopefully, I'll be a little bit more online. And now we got Big Steve gifting five. Two MC Aquatics, wow. Silver Creek, Keith Hanshaw, Kerosy, Clicks, Images. Oh my God! Eduardo giving the fifty super chat. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you for the super chat. Holy thank cow! You, thank, you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for the super chat, chat. Thank you very much, Eduardo. I appreciate it. You've done a lot. I do appreciate it. He says, thank you for all you have offered us throughout the year, Skipper. I try. But one of the things I like doing is helping people. I Wow. <laughs> thank you very much. Wow. Uh, uh, Just remember that that's my Eskimo cousin that gifted you all that. <laughs> so where's your, so, hey, where's your 50? <laughs> I ain't got no money. <laughs> Eskimo cousin. He spends it on all that art crap. His, his, I, his, I, you said it, Doc, because I can't say it. It's Play-Doh. I I it Listen, I, I love that stuff. I don't care. I just can't do it. I can't do it either. Jealousy. I don't have an artistic bone in my butt. Well, I'm going to tell you. Whenever I was in high school, we always we had to take an art class. Nah, that turned out pretty neat. It turned out so cool. This is my Dr. Mindbender. We had to take an art and class. And Dr. Anthony goes evil, this is him. <laughs> <laughs> this is his, what he looks like when he's in Peru. You're welcome, Eddie. But I had my cousin do all my art projects, and I turned them in. <laughs> oh, my God. I did. You know, you can't fail art. Because kids with no talent, they give them an A if they try. No, not this, you know, not this art teacher. Oh, really, no, buddy. That's, mm -mm. that's terrible because some, you know. I would, you know, I would fail in art class if they, you know, if, it, if they graded you on how well things are. No, yeah. I guarantee it. But I'm going to tell you right now, this art teacher that I had, he did. You didn't do something a certain way in the way he explained it, or at least tried. I've seen people fail art. Hmm. I was like, well, guess what? I, I'm going to give it to my cousin. She can do it, and I'll turn it in later. It worked. Well, when I was an art TA, the only time people... You even you try to build up the kids that have no talent at all, but you don't give them bad grades, you know. So if they just can't figure it out, they can't figure it out. But as long as they show up and try, they got it was basically pass or fail, you know. Yeah, I get that. 
But there would be kids that would sign up for the class because they said it would be an easy, you know, pass, and then they never show up. And then they don't get a good grade because they didn't show up. Maybe that's my problem. The artistic bones are in the hands and yeah, in my butt. So, <laughs> hello, Dee Dee. Hey, Dee Dee. Hey, Dee Dee. Hey, Dee Dee. Hey, they did it. They did a great stream earlier. It was the Fish Fam Link stream. Yeah, that was good. So, how did that uh, bingo work? Oh, I don't know. I didn't look into it. Uh oh, Garcia is well, drinking my my drug of choice. Oh, Coke. Is that, is that Coke Zero there? Uh, yeah. That's my that's my drug of choice. Hold on, <laughs> hold on, Thank, Doc. Thank you, uh, Fishy Mom, for the five dollars super sticker, and it's a pair of lane on side. Says, "How's it going? It's going good. That's Thank awesome. you." Awesome. No, that's hey, Ed. Has the bone in his hand. Oh my! Uh, yeah, you don't you don't have a problem. <laughs> hey Doc, do I have a problem, Doc? Yeah, you you're you're like me. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's a lot of damn soda. Yep. You don't drink them warm, do you? Oh, these are the baby ones. These are the babies. These are the yep. babies. Yeah, those are the they call those in Peru the piranitas, the little piranhas. <laughs> oh wow, that's awesome. I can't. <laughs> the first time I tasted one of these, the Coke Zero, I was no, that's my drink. Shit, shit. I, I have to give one, up. I have it in the morning, I have it in the afternoon, and I have about like three or four in, in the evening. That's why I'm so damn wired. Well, there, there you go. <laughs> well, see, I have mine right next to me. The here's my. I had to buy some yesterday. I ran out, so I have one six pack in the fridge and one extra sitting on the counter. God, I can't do it, man. I don't like the aftertaste of it. I don't. I just can't do it. <laughs> I miss drinking pop. Yeah, you better answer that so you don't get in trouble. Doesn't she know you're on TV? She probably does not. <laughs> and she don't want him on TV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Beach Cats. They're a bunch of cokeheads. <laughs> <laughs> when I go to the movie theater, I drink Orange High C. Orange High C. Yeah, because I had to give up pop. I had to get I had to cut something out to try to lose weight. So mm. I've given up pop drinking. My my, I, you know, I really you like know, Dr. You know Pepper. how I lost my weight? You know how I'm losing my weight? You stop eating? Vegetable? No. Vegetables? Mm -hmm. Seafood? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. once in a, once a month, I have steak. Once a month. Mm -hmm. Well, I can't afford steak anymore. So that's, if I'm lucky, I get that once a month. And I'm not allowed to eat that many vegetables because it thickens your blood. And I've got to have thin blood. It does. So, All right. Yeah. yeah. All vegetables. Uh, healthy for really? Vegetables. Well, most green vegetables, okay. like spinach uh, and things. But after I had my heart attack, no lie, they gave me those pills for the, for my blood pressure, and and to thin my blood and everything. I I couldn't be the way I am now. It just had me like like a dolo. I couldn't do that. So I told the doctor. What can we do? He goes, just make sure you got your your baby aspirin just in case. But you can go ahead and stop doing that and stop taking these pills and everything. But take this other pill and this other pill. I'm going to oh, so you want me to try something else? Okay, no problem. As soon as I got home, I ripped up the, 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 the paper. I said, I'm not getting no pills. I'm staying with my baby aspirin. Drink my Coke Zero. Hey, just go on by my day and not on wood. Yeah. I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing real good. Even I though I still smoke cigarettes, even though I, I still smoke cigarettes, but 
I don't hold the door. I have to take warfarin every day, though, for the rest of my life because of the metal thing in my heart, because blood will clot Ooh. on it. So I have to have uh, blood thinner for the rest of my life. But I don't have cholesterol problems or anything like that. Most people always as associate heart surgeries to heart attacks. But I didn't. I actually had a healthy heart in that retrospect. It was just I had a aneurysm and a torn. I had a bicuspid valve, which is just two flaps instead of three, and it was starting to tear away. So it was just becoming one flap and one going just wiggling. So they had to fix it. So I actually have like different heart problems. I'm like a reverse what most people have when they start to have to have heart problems. Mine's all the opposite. Mm. So like I can eat all the meat I want and the fatty foods because I have no cholesterol and uh, and I, I got like perfect heart fresh blood pressure, but it's just uh, my heart valve was what was all my birth defect it was my problem. I mean, I have to take blood thinners to keep it thin and just eating a bowl of spinach will thicken my my blood up. It's crazy. I never knew that about greens. No. Well, it's that's considered healthy to have thick blood. So, you know, that's a good thing, you know, to eat spinach and broccoli and Brussels sprouts. I could probably eat all the ice lettuce, iceberg lettuce I want because I don't think it has any nutrition. <laughs> uh, it's like it, water. No, what yeah. all the carbs in there? Well, maybe the carbs are okay. It's just the... Is it vitamin D that gives you the the thickened blood? No, it's in vit the plants. What's, the, what's in uh, what's in plants? The vitamin that thickens your blood in plants. Linky, I'm sure she knows. I don't know that. I forget what that because vitamin D is what you get from sun. Yep. Yeah. Vitamin C can, is oranges. Vitamin. I can drink all the vitamin C I want. Which one's iron? Vitamin F. Uh, I can do that. Maybe is, is there something called vitamin D2? Or no, D? B, B2, B12. Oh, maybe B6. it's one. Of, maybe it's B2 that thickens. Why don't you just ask? I'll just ask Google because Google knows everything. <laughs> Hello, Lori. What vitamin Master D2? Vitamin K. Vitamin K. Vitamin K. Oh, God. Oh, it's way cats. off. Boots Cats had it in the chat right before Google answered you. I couldn't remember. They even got a picture of some green plant right there. Oh, man, you ain't so, eating no kelp or seaweed, are you? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not supposed to have that either. Damn. So, Garcia gave me it's the Jones for uh, Coke Zero. Salud. Lechaim. I can probably eat lots of beans, but I'd be awfully gassy. You know, the the beans in Peru, they have like a smaller pinto bean. They're called Peruvian beans. They don't give you gas. Oh. Yeah. Well, I'll eat. I, I pretty much like all the beans. Well, I'll, eat, I'll eat beans all day long. Hmm. So, yeah, uh, they, uh, I have three vows that they, they put, they put, uh, Three stings. That's what they did. Oh, my heart. Oh, jeepers. They do a pig valve? They went from oh. Dan, from, from Dan and all the way up. You got a pig valve? So they did your valves too, or did they stints? The stints. Oh, it's different. They, yeah, stints. But the, the, they told me when they tried to bring me back, they had to do it like three or four times. I was not coming back. Whoa. Well, then when, I finally, when I finally opened my eyes, I was, are you guys going to get this done or what? Was, oh, we're already done. Mine's right down the... Wow. The big old zipper. But man, yep. they, had me, they got me through my family jewel all the way up. <laughs> That's how oh, they yeah. Is. yeah. They put in a uh, mini pacemaker into my heart through my groin. They uh, put two pacemakers in up here and had to take them out because they kept coming loose. So they put one that, like the size of a twenty-two bullet up through the artery, up through my leg, and uh, into my heart. 
in this in the ventral or vault vent, vault ventricle vent, ventricle thank you the bottom chambers and then in another year they're going to approve to have one put in the top so they can talk to each other but it's just like a standard procedure if you have a mechanical heart valve to do it mine's only worked like it's only had to work one percent they said it's got 27 years battery on it so so what what type valve did they put in you they put a mechanical valve mine's oh. like metal that's why i hear it ticking as it rattles through my bones and it drives that's i have such a hard time going to sleep like right now that we're talking about it i just hear it tick 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 Little kids that walk in the room, they hear me ticking like a clock. But the older you get, the less your your hearing goes. But like, hey, if we went into a bathroom or something, you might be able to hear, it. like a, a small quiet room. I don't uh, know. I don't know. I don't plan to go in the bathroom with you, Ed. So, hey, Grant, how you doing? That's pretty good. I wanted to see if we could hear the ticking through my mouth, and it didn't look good. So I decided not to do that. Tick, 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 tick. Oh, oh, yeah, like the crocodile on uh, Peter Pan. Yep. That's what it, it sounds like in my head all the time. That would drive me crazy. And it, hmm. it's these two little metal flaps. They're just, they snap together and make the ting. And then they close and they snap. But, or maybe it's when they shut. I don't know. But it, one part of it, they ting together and drive me nuts. And they told me, don't move. When, when, they took me, when they took me back to my room, they said, whatever you do, I want you to stay still and sleep that way. I'm going to try my best. When I woke up in the morning, my sheets weren't white no more. They were red. Oh, because you moved and it opened back up. Oh, no. Nice. So is when it, don't they do it through like your wrist too? They could do it through. They, they had on um, this wrist. They had the uh, the medication going down through this arm, and then in this one was just the IV and all that. I'm like, it's bad. And I'm a person. I just can't. I can't sleep like this. No, no. Because she was like. I'm all over the place. I even had the pillows on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I move around so much. I, you know, no, yeah, I can't. When you get a heart catheter, they go through your your wrist. It's like a camera that goes up your arm and all the way to your heart. Okay, that's right. I couldn't. And that, thought... that feels very uncomfortable. Does it, they do it. They do it through the groin area too, whenever they do the heart cath. But I think this one's the less invasive, to where you could do it like it, outpatient. It might have been they needed to just do it to where whatever was closest to the valve they needed to replace. So okay. it might have been a situation like that too for me. Did they uh, put some like some boots? It looked like boots I, I, by, by, your, by your ankles. They look like boots. It would just squeeze and then let go. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, those are comfy. Yeah. I like well, those. I, I, was, like I, I, was, I, was, I was, I was, I slept real good and everything with no problem. But when they had to come and uh, change the sheets and everything, they're going to ask me. And they help me, so I goes, Oh, I can get up with no problem. Whoa. I almost beat the whole floor. Oh, Jesus, I'm out of here. <laughs> hey, Whip. Whip Hi. Snapper. What's going on? How oh, are you, man? Whip? Sorry I'm late, but I uh, was watching all the, con awesome. uh, the Godzilla uh, King Kong movies since we went and saw the latest one yesterday. I saw it last oh. yesterday too. You did too. Yes, I did. It, and it wasn't half as bad as I thought it was going to be. 
Right. That's, that's kind of how I felt, too. It was mad. Oh, Godzilla wearing armor and stuff and wielding a, a sword. Come on. That, Godzilla doesn't do that. You're right. Kong does. Yes. It was, it was, Kong, it was Kong. That's right. Yeah. Kong, <laughs> <laughs> Kong doesn't, yeah, Kong doesn't do that either. Yeah. <laughs> there, was, there was a guy. I stopped at GameStop today. My son wanted to get a game with his, his uh, Christmas gift cards and stuff that he had got so we stopped he didn't have it so we had to pre-order it and afterwards i said when's it come out oh they didn't give a release date yet i'm like oh but anyways it's pre-ordered this guy was telling me he watched it on his phone i'm sure there's illegal copies of it yeah. yeah but on a phone that you know it's like i don't even, you, oh, I don't even like watching youtube it. on my phone it just the screen's not big enough no, I don't know how Apple was the producer of it, so they maybe are selling it to their Apple phone people. Oh, they could it, it could be on Apple TV. Yeah, uh, one of those or one of those that they can just go like this from their phone, just click it, and it'll, it'll pop right up on this on their screen. Uh, you can you can fool yourself if you're if you're. Uh, well lubricated enough you know if you hold the phone up to about where the tv is and then just get it about to the same size and just hold it there the whole time <laughs> guys whatever you do don't drink what he's drinking <laughs> <laughs> berta what if it's coke zero <laughs> Coke Zero doesn't do that. Doesn't do that to you? Okay. <laughs> Just checking. Hey, Doc is perfect. I'm perfect. <laughs> Are we? <laughs> uh, well, I'm late boy. I, did, I didn't even see that till now. Yeah, I was late too. You know what it is? Is that we're drinking too much of that water change. Yeah. That would do it. <laughs> I would do a lot more. So how you been, Whip? So how you been, you? Well, I'm good. I just been hanging out, doing what I got to do. Mm -hmm. I know sooner or later that door's going to open, and that's when my boss comes in, and as soon as she gives me that look, yes, I, boss. It's <laughs> time to go. <laughs> hey, where's Polly tonight? Um, He's out with friends. Oh, he, he actually has friends? Yeah, I know. It blew my mind when he messaged me that, too. Well, he knows somebody that can pretend like he's his friend. Oh, okay. <laughs> on Saturday. Okay. <laughs> he only has to pay the guy $20 to visit with him. Okay. Doc, just wait until I have my drink completely before you see it. Answer like that. <laughs> I almost spit everything right on my screen. <laughs> that would be fun to see. That would have been like Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> Lori's going to have to send me a, a, a DM or something on what the heck, uh, how you do that. You uh, see I, that? I already know. Oh, because no. I've got Fire Stick. I, I definitely use it, I, but I have no idea how to get that. Because I, I wasn't going to pay for Apple TV. It says you can watch free with Apple TV. And I clicked on it and it says, you know, it's a free uh, five day trial. Yeah, free for, and I'm like, yeah, no, you're yeah. not getting me like that. Yeah, you got to cancel that real quick. Yeah. Watch right. the movie and then cancel it. Well, it was a series, I guess. Um, I, I Googled uh, Monster uh, Universe. Is that what it's called? Monster Universe? Monsterverse? And uh, there's two, there's a cartoon series in between Skull Island and and, uh, and the 2014 Godzilla. The cartoon and, uh, looks good. It's good? And then there's another well, one looks, called uh, Legacy. There's some kind of legacy, monarch le legacy. And I think Dennis Quaid is the main actor. In, in the cartoon? No, in, in the legacy. the oh. It's kind of like what's going on in the world outside of the movie. Oh. I think. Uh, Jason sent me a link that he was trying to get it so I could watch it, but since I didn't have an Apple, I couldn't. Right. That was my problem, too. So I'm like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I just wait for, but, for uh, 
for for May, they're gonna have that uh the Planet of the Apes coming out. Oh, the new one. I can't See, I don't like that those. One. Why I don't like those? Why? Why you don't like it? I, I'm not a big primate guy. I don't like apes and monkeys. <laughs> not, even, not even apes and monkeys that wield uh, battle they axes touch and have gauntlets in front of them. Now, if it was nope. Planet of the Cats, he would watch it. <laughs> oh. Man. I'm that, so I on that. Him. I won't watch that at all. No. Never. That's called Thundercats. <laughs> Thunder, <laughs> Thunder, <laughs> Thundercats. Thunder. <laughs> Thunder. Thundercats. Quirky. Wink twice, but if you're safe. <laughs> <laughs> right, look left twice if you are in danger. In danger. <laughs> You're left or mine. He's the only person in a solid blank room. Yeah. He's oh. such a sterile human. I mean, look at that. <laughs> it's his bubble. <laughs> if you go into Todd's house, you probably just lay down and go to sleep because there's nothing to look at. It's hermetically sealed. He's hermetically sealed <laughs> in. It looks like Doc is you working on it. I see nothing but boxes back there. Yeah, there's boxes. That's it. <laughs> I mean, there's an aquarium over here. And, you can't uh, see. Is it, is it an imaginary one? <laughs> <laughs> there's a condor that flies oh, hey, hey, around me. Yeah, <laughs> oh, that's funny. Poor fella. <laughs> this last year was my one phone call. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's awesome! He's in the, he's in the the padded room. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they let him. They let him stream once a month. Yeah. So everybody knows he's okay. Yeah, right. This is this is this is the only house the room in the house I'm allowed in. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, Skipper, do they let the prisoners there watch the internets? Well, that's a bummer. You could get a lot of subs that way. <laughs> I don't deserve to be on the internet. <laughs> Oh man, I ain't talking about that. <laughs> That'd get me in trouble. <laughs> Next question, please. Yeah. <laughs> that could be the only thing they get to watch is Skipper's live streams. And yeah, I don't think that'd be another a good question. Idea. Another conversation. Let's forget about that one. Let's skip Ooh. that one, Ed. <laughs> Let's skip that one, Ed. Hello, okay. Chris. Chris. Hi, Chris. Steve He's my dungeon master. master. He's my dungeon master. That's the only game I could ever play. Never I'm ever in me. your whole life? Never. I can't play. Play. Even that's, Skipper can say that he's played. That's the only game you've never played? Because I can't play it. Oh, you can't play it. I can't play it at all. But I enjoy watching people play it. And sometimes how sometimes they, they react, and some of them that um, with, the, with the costumes and all that, I'm like, oh Lord, <laughs> they're really doing it. When I was younger, I went to a uh, to one of those medieval times, and they put me as a jester. I could see that. Did they give you a funny hat too? He had to pull yeah. your shoes and yeah. And my brother was the guy, and he and he killed me. He goes, "We don't like this jester." 
That's messed up, man. <laughs> Took you out at your knees. He's done. But the good thing was that I could take off that damn hat, shoes, and everything. I saw all this. He was, I was sweating in this. I was who tried to kill me? We could have done something better. <laughs> now you enjoy it. <laughs> So you, I'm out. <laughs> Those are good old days. Oh yeah. So I caught the I movie thing. It was going to be a a hangout session, right? But what did you have any kind of theme that I can uh, comment on? What, what what was the main conversation drive today? Uh, Ed's uh, surgeries. Oh, I, got no, I got no input on that. <laughs> Me neither. The virtues of Coke Zero were brought yeah. up. Oh, okay. That's gross, but okay. We know the doc <laughs> loves uh loves glowfish. Oh yeah. They're his favorite. Favorites. Uh, them and balloon fish. We went through his top five favorite both glow and balloon fish. Yep. See, Todd's writing all the notes. Yeah. <laughs> he's our note guy. Yeah, he's like our Xanadu on uh, I mean, Mondays and Tuesdays. <laughs> mm -hmm. Where is Xanadu? He's been food poisoned, so he's getting better now. Oh, oh I didn't hear that. I hate that. I, that's happened to me before. That is the worst oh, feeling I hate ever. It. My parents got, got it. Like the day of or the night before, I can't remember, but they were really hammered with it uh, right before they went on vacation. And they're in the airport, you know, basically, you know, immobilized because they, if they move around too much, they're heaving their guts up and feeling generally miserable. And they're waiting for a plane that that's going to take them to Florida. I thought you were going to say they were really hammered. <laughs> oh, that, that too, probably. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, wait, they got hammered and then they got food poisoning too. <laughs> they ate like a three-year-old pizza. Oh god, that, that was in the freezer. I mean, it was it was frozen the whole time. But yeah, even even so, you can't eat a three-year-old pizza, people. I'm just telling you. Words to live by from Whip. <laughs> what are your thoughts on babies? Do you call them maggots? maggots. Too? Oh yeah, yeah. That that and and. Talk, told us about his thoughts on babies. Uh, I like my babies. I didn't. I don't care for anybody else's babies in general, unless they're behaving. Well, then they're nice. okay. I don't touch them. <laughs> my grandbabies. That's are good. good. I had to say it. I. Yeah, I think they're gross. They can be gross, and they can be loud, and they can be obnoxious. But and know, smelly. It, well, I wouldn't know that. The old sniffer doesn't work. You're never ever. pooped. Oh, <laughs> it never. <Yeah. laughs> the only time I really yeah. just get annoyed with them overall is in public places. You know, where if you're at a restaurant and the parents aren't, uh, you know. Nice enough to take them away, you know. They just let them sit there and scream. Oh, or in the movie theaters, you know. That's another one that gets me. Or on an airplane. Yeah, Ooh, airplanes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's not really anything you can do about that. Can't really take them anywhere. Oh, well, sure. mom and I, I still and my hate dad, worry about that. We went. My mom, dad, and I went to the Juicy Crab last week. The and Juicy Crab. They were, still, <laughs> they were celebrating a kid's birthday behind us and the kid kept bouncing on the back of the the chair but the stupid thing would bounce into my back non-stop and it was making me so mad i bet i bet but i'd already asked them to move there that was our second move so i wasn't gonna go for a third move <laughs> You know, when it was me, uh, you know, as a parent, I just picked them up and I said, get ours to go. And we'd go sit in the car. Well, that, they didn't care. Yeah, apparently. But that's a that's a problem with a lot of different parents these days. So 
Not that I want to get into that, but. Thank you, Lori. I, will do that. You. I think I wonder is Lori still doing everything from her tablet or her phone? Probably. I'm going to be in the auction. Send me a list again. Yeah, I don't like it. Dogs. Yeah. I'm not a big fan. I love dogs with all my heart, but I don't want them in my restaurant. <laughs> yeah, I know because I want to be able to feed them. But you're not supposed to randomly feed other people's animals or even touch. Oh, you said feed. I thought you said beat them. I was like, wait, what? I was like, I know you're a cat guy, but <laughs> like, that's a bit extreme, no. man. He hates babies no. and dogs, I babies guess. Dogs. <laughs> I, I actually love every furry thing except for primates. And and rats. I don't care for rats, but uh, I want to feed every dog I see. Can't help it. I just love feeding dogs because mice are like, okay. Rats no good. Dog in yeah. Interesting. Okay. A couple months ago, I had a dog that almost fed on me. Really? Yeah. I was uh, notifying all the customers along the the uh, right away that we were, were going to be working and. Oh. I'd gotten done and was walking back and almost to my truck and two pit bulls are kind of jogging down the down the sidewalk and they looked like happy go lucky so I just went hey guys <laughs> and the big one just like he's like oh hey there's somebody standing there and he made a beeline right for me and uh, kind of launched himself grabbed my elbow but he got all shirt. And then when he when he dropped down, I kicked him, and he went around that way of my truck, and I went this way. And even though I had half the distance to go, he still beat me to my door, and he grabbed me by my boot. But uh, again, he was that was uh, too much of a mouthful. So then he got two more kicks right to the face before <laughs> before he'd walk away. Because man, he wanted to eat me. <laughs> Gosh, man, I'm, I'm never gonna try that with you, Whip. <laughs> you never try to bite me. <laughs> no. I'll just let you have the last rib. <laughs> that would certainly make the uh, the clash uh, an interesting event. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Ed's trying to attack Whip in the <laughs> hospitality room. <laughs> uh, That's crazy. So balloon fish, mm -hmm. yeah, no good. We no love good. them, huh? No. How about the how about the goldfish with the big bubbly eyes? Mm, no, no. Like a right. light more? No, no, no. The big, the like the gelatinous kind of flowy yeah. bubbly eyes. Mm. No, the uh, telescopic. The telescopic. Yeah, the one telescopic. Yeah, well, these are just kind of. It's kind of like a. Like a, I don't like any of that gelatin crap. A sack of goo around the eyeball. Yeah, yeah. Around their whole head. As soon as they, as soon as they, they, they touch a beard a, army, a driftwood. That's it. It's done. So you'd have to keep them in a tank with nothing in it. Yeah, because I mean they would get picked on like, and they'd never get to eat because everything would out compete them. What Benjamin? That would be wrong. That would be creepy. Bubble, bubble, bubble eyed goldfish. Yeah. We talked about flounders. Yeah, flounders, freshwater tongue fish. Yep. Yeah, they go to the bottom. He's not happy. <laughs> Well, I'm trying to remember what that one little fish at saltwater, I believe. It's a looks like a circle, like a little ball. Mm -hmm. A puffer fish? No. It's real. It's real little saltwater. We talked There's about saltwater puffers. 
Yeah. <laughs> it's not puffer fish. Um, if you no, took all no, the spines no. off of a lionfish, it'd probably be a ball. Yeah, you pick up all that spine and all that, cut them up, gut it out. That meat is nice and white and very tasty. <laughs> and have some nice good beer on the side with it. Mm. A box yeah. of fish? It's cow. No. No. Cowfish cow are cow. square. Lionfish are supposed to be good eating. Oh, you're talking about box fish. You're talking about probably a box fish. No, he said round. Fish. Yeah, oh, definitely round? not a box fish. They're like a big square. Like a I, I've eaten lionfish. It's not I, bad. Uh, what water angel? <laughs> the only the only one that I can think oh, of, but it's it's that sunfish round. Ocean sunfish. sunfish is does it have horns? It's little. It doesn't have horns, does it? Well, no, that's no, the cowfish has the horns. Fish. <laughs> it's a box also. It is a, it is a cowfish, but it's on a, that's what they're talking about it now. They say it's a cowfish. That's not what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> it ain't the box. Oh, look it up there. Tom says a lump fish. Alex lump Jones? fish are big. Though. You know, mm. maybe okay. a, and, a and stingray, and if you look at it straight down, it's round. <laughs> Ed, just do this. Ask Google, Ed. No lump fish. Ask Google. Yes, yes, it is a lump fish. You're right. Thank yeah, you. Lump fish are big. Well, babies are small. There's a balloon one. A balloon lump. That's It's natural, though. It can't be artificial. Oh, maybe a toadfish. Toadfish are kind of round. <laughs> no, I'm going to show you a picture. It's this one. They, like, walk on the glass and stuff. Oh, but that's natural. That's Cut. not, that's not man-made. So why do you hate those, Dr. Anthony? Oh, I don't like, I don't hate those. No, I was trying to remember what they were. Yeah. They're pretty cool. Yeah. I just it just popped in my head that we were talking about on the aquatic morning show one day. Yes, that's right. The Pokemon fish. That's what people they are look talking. a lot like a they look a lot like a uh, a uh, toadfish. Type in toadfish. But they end up getting real big. No, these yeah, things some lump fish get huge, yeah. Hmm. These ones in particular I'm showing you stay small. Ah. Uh. Todd, would you get a toad fish? Because Todd and toad sounds the same. Toad fish? That's actually what we used to call my cousin Todd is toad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but they, we did, and he hated it. Hates it to this day. Those things are ugly, man. God, they eat everything. And normally you only see their how, face because their body's hidden. How about the rockfish? How about the rockfish? You mean rockfish or stonefish? Yeah, yeah stone, stonefish. Stonefish are poisonous. Stone. Stone. Venomous or poisonous? One of the two. Yep. Yeah. Thank you for showing me a toadfish. You're welcome. Ooh. That's crazy looking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They don't look like much until they until you that guy that uh, has the spines straight up like that. Yeah. Oh, geez. You step on them, you die. Are they that potent? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Where are they located? Um, tropical seas. I'm done swimming in the ocean. They're, you know, they're related to the same scorpion, scorpion fish as lionfish. They're in the same family. Mm. You're officially... Calling it now, Skip. Mm -hmm. No more ocean swimming. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> see, and they're over in Australia. See, that's another reason why not to go to Australia. They even got they even got animals in the water will kill you. Yeah, I, I, I have, a, have, I have, have a, a, a slide of a, a a stonefish. I was when I was working on my PhD. I was sitting mm -hmm. on a, a just a shelf on the reef counting fish as they ran by me that's you know uh -huh. i did that every day twice a day and didn't think anything of it so after about an hour i looked down and i see this rock between my legs <laughs> and it moves a little bit I'm, 
what the heck's going on? So after I counted, I looked at this this rock, and it was actually a stonefish. Now you, I, I couldn't tell that it wasn't just a rock there. So they, you know, when they call them a stonefish, they really look like stones. That, that's the problem. <laughs> yep. So what did you do to it? I let it. Nothing. I, you know, it it lives there. I'm it's I'm the visitor. You're tougher. You could have kicked it. Well, it'd be a kick it, and my luck, it'll put out his dorsal spines, and I'll kick it. <laughs> and get, you know, get why, is, why, is, why is Doc swimming face down and not moving? Yeah. I don't know. What the hell is going on out there? That would bring a new meaning. Sleeping again. That would be, bring a new uh, new meaning to kicking rocks. That's for yep. sure. <laughs> right? yep. Sleeping on the job. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Wow! That, oh man! That, oh, yeah. Australia even has venomous, <coughs> venomous mammals, right? I think it's a mammal. Actually, I don't know. The platypus. Yeah. 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 It's that's spurs. a mammal. It has venomous spurs. It's a mammal. Yeah. It's a duck. A, a duck beaver. Yeah. Snake. What, <laughs> what, was that, what was that fish they were showing? There was a bunch of them that uh, they looked like a dragon. Oh, the, blue. The, you got the dragon fish, and then they got the dragon, uh, the horse. No. Uh, what a horse, how does what a shrew? The seahorse. The uh, seahorse. Yeah. There's a there's a dragon seahorse. This thing was venomous, and if you picked them up out of the waters, that was in Australia, I believe. They had a bunch of them show up. Uh, I am unfamiliar with that. I I did see. For the first time uh, on YouTube, something called a dragon, a dragon fish that kind of looked like it had wings and it was cruising along the bottom. Well, there's dragon nets, which are, you know, they're a saltwater fish. Thank you, Emily Oscars. Well, we have a a mammal that's uh, venomous here in the States, a shrew. A mammal? Oh, yeah, a yeah, shrew. A shrew. Yeah. I was unaware they look of that. Like a mouse How did I get to be thing? this old and not know that shrews are, are venomous? Yeah, I didn't know that either. Yep, that's what it was. Thank you. Yeah. What? I'm gonna show yeah, you. What was it? You're going to leave us in suspense? Always. <laughs> it's this thing. No, I knew the brink. There was people picking them up and they went to the hospital. Yeah, they what what they do is is I these things eat um, polyps like you know little sea anemones and hydroids, and the stinging cells don't go fire off, and so they they actually go through their body and they put a put them into their gills in these you know the flashy areas, and so when uh, you know when you pick them up. The nematocysts, the stinging cells will fire into you. Hmm. Why do people pick these up? Because they're cool looking. Yeah. These things were floating on top of the ocean water. You know, they were just on the. Aren't they water. like a slug? They're a mollusk? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's a slug. Anyway, it's, a, it's, a, it's a mollusk. Yeah. yeah. They, they were picking them up. I don't touch up. any mollusks. They were picking them up, and they were getting stung and getting sick and going to the hospital. I think they're pretty cool looking, though. And the blue oh, ring octopus is worse. Oh, yeah. well, yeah. The blue spot, mm -hmm. it's pretty that's, I, I think it's arguably the most venomous on the planet, right? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Creepy little critters, man. Blue rig, not blue. Even though yeah. there are some beautiful clams, though, too. You should I get to see a beautiful clam. Pull up a video of a Spanish dancer new to brink. Spanish dancer. Spanish dancer. You better not share it right away. 
That's why I didn't do it. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, 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 they had them in the Red Sea. They're, they, they flap in the, in the water, and they look like a wow. flamingo dancer. Yeah, that's crazy looking. And that's a slug. That's a sea slug, yep. What's a life that, that'll kill you dead too, or no? No, no, not at all. It's pretty neat. And how long do these things live? Uh, probably maybe a, a couple of years at most. Hmm. Why don't you see more of these in our aquariums? Because they, they, they're very particular on what they eat. You know, hydroids, which are small, tiny polyps that just don't grow in our, our aquariums. So if you want video on it, you got to go and uh, <laughs> scuba diving. Yep. I need, to, I need to digitize all my old underwater videos. That'd be awesome. Oh, look at this. That's one that's just in the... That's crazy. Is that big? Looks like that a pancake. Like big-ass pizza. <laughs> pizza and pancake, yeah. That's crazy. That's it, can't, it can't fold itself up. Right. I think don't mm. they don't they uh, go like every uh, the back half goes and then the front half goes and then the back half. Goes. I think that's what I saw on a YouTube clip. One thing well, that'd be pretty neat. Yeah, that's one thing I wanted to do is oh, I do want to do a scuba diving thing. I think that'd be pretty neat. Get down and see. See the corals. You are muted, Doc. I'm gonna pull up the video. Could not be open. It's a quick time. Yeah, that's something. That it's not cool. a music video, is it? No, it's, a, a, it's, it's an underwater Frank video. Sea snake. Yes, those are those I'll are. I bring them. My milk chunks bring all the boys to the yard. <laughs> Came out of nowhere. Blue ringed octopus. Ooh. That ain't Dr. Anthony has a video of the blue ringed octopus. Oh, no, it's a, it's a trigger fish, but I have to save it as a nice. Well, while he's working on that, Skip, I, I did a, um, I didn't scuba dive, but I, because I wasn't certified, so I only sco um, snorkel. snorkel. And the, and the rest of the guys that I was there with, uh, they they did the scuba diving, but I got bored, so I swam to the um, side and did a little uh, searching on the uh, water or uh, the lighthouse. And then when they went to go, they're calling me over, and I'm like, just about to jump in the water, and there is a fish that was bigger than me, just hanging there, right there where I I must have swam right by him, or he came in later. I don't know, but. I'm like, there's a really big fish over here. And they're like, well, he didn't hurt you on the way out. You know, maybe he won't hurt you on the Hi way out. Hey. It's dinner time. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's not the look you promised us. He was, he he was going to give him one of these. Nah, I, I guess it was a good lucky one. Look, yeah, right? <laughs> I guess it's good, but she wants me to go eat dinner. But uh, can, thank you for having me here. Mm -hmm. and let me do it the right way. Hold on. <laughs> Guys, if you haven't seen their channel, go ahead and check out their channel. Go ahead and hit that like button, hit that share button, and turn on that notification bell to be notified. Because you never know when they're dropping a video or when they're dropping a short or when they're going to go live. Always help one another and go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And guys, till the next time, Garcia Aquatics. It's out of here.
and I love you all. Good night. Later, bud. Later. Later. Garcia. Yes. Say I about Garcia. I see. I heard Garcia. Well, just to go by. Go ahead. Sorry. Uh, that was my guy. That was my guy. Bye, Garcia. <laughs> <laughs> and you're really something. <laughs> that's that's only for the call, not the bye. <laughs> <I'm> my bad. <laughs> You're really something, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, well, I we went to, we went on a cruise, and that's where I did snorkeling at. And I have a bunch of clips. I need to do it again. I have some on my shorts, but I have others that I never uploaded. And uh, where where we was at, and uh, oh man, the. Bahamas? Yeah, we did a cruise to the Bahamas. And uh, that was before that one ship, you know, that little ship that takes you to the uh, to the Bahamas where certain beaches that cruise lines have. And, you know, but anyways, there's a Barracuda. Oh, that was so cool. I almost think that's what was out there in front of me. But it was a small one, oh. not big. This was, <laughs> it was bigger than me. It was probably a baby one. But it yeah. didn't let me go. It, I mean, I swam right by it. It never. That didn't stop me from looking, you know, looking back every other stroke. Where the hell is it? <laughs> was it? Was it skinny? Yeah, it was, a, it was a long, skinny fish. But it was oh, a long one. Yeah. I mean, at least looking into the water at the angle I was at, you know, and I know there's some refreshment. Uh, what do they call that when it makes things look bigger than they are? But the, they uh, definitely, uh, it was big. Or it was like a tarpon. Yeah, I thought, or like a tarpon. Those things are huge. Yeah, could have been. Yeah, back then I, I had no idea. It was a big fish is what I knew it was. Hmm. Is that coming is up? This, uh, I can see it. An image. Oh, okay. Well, no, I, I, it's actually a video. That's, yeah, it's moving. Ah. Let me make it larger. So it's, a, it's actually a trigger fish um, from underwater in the Red Sea. Is this and your so, footage? Yeah, this is my footage. It's a, a, a male trigger fish that's guarding its egg. Oh, it so really doesn't to... want you there. Yeah, look, there's a. Well, when I get closer, I actually show the eggs. There's probably uh, ten thousand eggs there. Now, yeah, I see. Are it. these the guys who bite coral? No, uh, they bite. No, they bite uh, sea urchins and things like that. Okay, so I mean, it could bite you and probably take a chunk of meat out. Oh, have you seen their teeth? They're nasty. Yeah. That's what I would. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. So there's this egg. You can see him right there. Dr. Anthony's. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, he hit it. He took a chunk out of the camera. What? Literally took a chunk out of the, the, the lens dome. And the problem is it wasn't my camera. It was my uh, professor's camera. <laughs> well, he, he probably thought it was neat. Professor, I, I swear it wasn't him What happened to his camera? <laughs> Did it look like a bite? Oh yeah, it was a huge bite out of the out of the, <laughs> the hard plastic. Well, that's kind of cool. I'm that's glad crazy. it wasn't your pinky finger that he took a bite. Oh out of. no, yeah, it was. <laughs> they they are aggressive when they when they uh, have eggs. Now, was that like when you were 16 or 17? Oh, uh, no, I was um, 27, 28. So that was like 50 years ago? Uh, yeah. <laughs> years. Wow. It was uh, about 30 something years ago, yes. I'm surprised they had color TV back then. Yeah, they had color TV. <laughs> yeah. 
going to smack you. They had underwater cameras and everything, you know, underwater housing for cameras. Did you have to crank it, like, while you were no, in there? No, no. <laughs> it actually had rechargeable batteries that I could, you know, plug it in. Man, you guys had high-tech stuff. Yeah, we had high-tech. Oh, man. Well, it's been two hours. I'm ready. No, one hour, 59 minutes, and 58 seconds. Well, I was getting a head start, but thank you. Bye. But all right, everybody. Thank you guys for being here. Ed, TJ, Doc, Whip, and also Garcia. Everybody in chat, the mods, uh, lurkers, everybody participating. Thank you all very much. You all have a good night. Wait, wait. Thank you. Thank Eduardo for all his generosity. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, also, thank you. Thank you. For the super my chats. Eskimo cousin. The super chats, the, the the gifted memberships, thank you very much. And the new member, June, only Oscars. Thank you. Thank you guys very much. All right. Now, you all have a good night. You guys got anything to say before we leave? <clears throat> Saturday yeah. night. Good tank. I'm guessing that uh, Lumpy Dog is probably Eduardo's and my Eskimo father. <laughs> father of the cousins. Okay. Yep. Because yeah, that's, that's some, where uh, we got our, our, our rainbows from. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right, guys. Y'all have a good night. Bye.